All right, hey guys, so we just watched the Sephiroth trailer. I'm super excited for him, as anyone should be. And uh, we're going to do a day one analysis and see what we can figure out about his moveset. All right, let's get going. I'm gonna try to do this all in one take, by the way. Okay. We're analyzing everything, even the cinematics. All right, so right off the bat, you see the mountain cliffside type thing. And we all thought it was gonna be Monster Hunter. We all did. It's all right though, it's all right. I know, me and a million people thought Monster Hunter. And when Monster Hunter Rise is coming out, it was possible, but yeah. So cinematic trailer, right? Great. Right here, they had to show Mewtwo getting hurt since he had no clothes and they put a boo-boo on his head. Yeah, even Mewtwo. <laughs> and you gotta appreciate all these third-party characters in this cinematic trailer. When I saw Banjo, I was like... Oh, in this part, I thought it was gonna be a Kid Icarus character. I was like, no. <laughs> Banjo and Kazooie? In the trailer? In the trailer. Don't take it personally. It's an act of mercy. I literally one shot this guy. I forgot his name. What was the other one called? Like Darkos or something? There's Sora. And then Riku from Dragon Quest. Okay, so real analysis coming up. Pegasus. Okay, this. This tornado? That could be a whole move. They only showed it in the cinematic, but that could be a move right there. Okay, so. The first move we see. That is forward tilt. Probably angled upwards, right? Forward tilt. And then this. You can see the little star comes up. That's his forward smash. He has to have more range than like uh, Corin, Simon, Richter, and um, Byleth. Not sure about Min Min though. That'd be crazy if you outraged Min Min. Okay, so this. Kind of like a Corrin side B, Violet up B type of thing going on. This might be his forward air though, it has to be. So it hits him like that, and he's able to act out of it. I'm wondering if he could do more moves besides jumping off like Corrin. We'll have to see. Beautiful. Okay, counter. We gotta be down B, right? It has to be. And it looks like it's a multi-hit counter. It probably only covers in front of him. Maybe not. And this looks like the type that would counter or reflect projectiles as well. So, yeah. Another sort of character with a counter. Okay. So, watching the full trailer. Okay, by the way, everyone thought this cut the stage in half. It didn't. Uh, that's Midgar with hazards on if you didn't know um, This could be one of two things. It could be his up air which I'm leaning towards And it could be his up B in his normal state more on that later Taunt okay, so He might be able to charge it or that's just what the startup looks like This this move which is probably his down B or side B probably um, and it does damage and a little bit of knockback and then it puts these orbs in front of dark pit that could be I mean this might be one of the more unique uh, projectiles in the game so we'll see more on that because it comes up later again that's up smash it's not up tilt okay so we see it again here Man, look at the range on that. 
that, that has to reach like the top of battlefield. Okay, so it's kind of hard to see, but there's two possibilities here for me. Um, looks like Link's charging his bow and arrow. I don't know if he shoots it in that frame, but it looks like he might have to time when he shoots the arrow or it'll explode. So it's kind of like a mini game in a game. If that's not the case though, it looks like it just explodes after a set amount of time. And does it hit more than once? It's one. Yeah, it hits twice. Or three times actually. Yeah, it doesn't look like Sephiroth's doing anything either, so it activates on its own. Okay. Nice stage. Kalos without walls. References. More references. <laughs> what is that? Okay, so that has to be the down air, right? It has to be. I don't know how much range it got going down, but it's probably like a Bowser chic type down air where it changes your momentum. And it, it probably kills, maybe. Okay, so here, it's kind of hard to catch because he's it's so fast, but what is he doing here? It's not, it's not a short hop backwards. It looks like a sidestep kind of thing. It's so fast that it's too short to be a short hop. What's this line? Whatever. So he has some kind of sidestep move. He does a roll here. That's a roll. And he gets hit. And he looks like he's in like a stagger animation. But like he recovers so quickly out of it. It's like silver armor or like tough guy. I'm assuming Sephiroth's gonna be like a heavy character. But I don't know what that is. Cause he just takes it like you see it he gets hurt but he still moves like nothing happened he's got to be a zero percent okay let's move on taunt so the wings this is kind of like a limit arsen meter type thing okay so that's probably down smash right it looks super strong it's a crazy looking down smash. At first I thought it was his down B, but it can't be. So, yeah. Down smash. Lots of range. I like it. I play Marth. I like it. Um, that's so cool looking. Alright, so I thought thought this was side B at first but if you slow it down you see an arrow which to me means it's up B and this could be like like I said before since the form change it could be a new up B maybe all his specials change during it but for now this is I'm 100% sure this is up B like a was it me sword fighter similar This, some people say, um, was it for, uh, Final Smash? There's no way. Well, actually, he does come out of a cinematic, so it probably is, huh? Like, uh, wait, wait, let's see. Yeah, it, oh, wait, wait. I can't see because all the particle effects. I don't know if he has, like, the, the Final Smash glow. You know what I'm talking about? But that purple aura he has disappears after he uses it. See here? So maybe using that makes it all go away and in exchange you get to nuke someone? Who knows? 
goes right back to the cinematic. It's like, ha, low tier, get out of here. And then Sephiroth actually kills Mario. Except it's Nintendo, so you remember he doesn't kill Mario. <laughs> I don't know like when I saw that. Yeah, get out of there, Mario. Okay. So here, this probably is Final Smash is unique to when Cloud fights um, Sephiroth. That's my take on that. And it ends beautifully. Sakurai loves Advent children. And then Waluigi comes in. This is the other thing, like, this could be his final smash. Like, I don't know, we don't know. Because he does, in this one, he does have the, uh, the Smash Bros. Final Smash Glow thing going on. Maybe a, a new boss also. So yeah, that's uh, that's my analysis. Maybe, uh, hopefully I'm spot on with all these things. And um, if you agree with me or disagree with me, please let me know. Don't forget to like, uh, subscribe for more content. Also, of course, free smash, free melee. I've grown up with Melee my entire life. I'm 27 and I've been watching tournaments since like 2009. So, free Melee. They need it. Thanks for watching.